A warm welcome to this Pateco breathing session, in which we'll be learning how to breathe slow for optimal well-being. This breathing exercise will give you access to a deep state of calm and enhanced oxygen delivery within a few minutes. And by incorporating this breathing technique into your daily routine, it can help to reduce inflammation, enhance your ability to manage stress, and support better blood pressure regulation. The breathing exercise is structured into three rounds, and as we progress through each round, I'll introduce additional guidance to help you refine your technique so that you can get the most from it. For all of the rounds, it's important to breathe quietly and gently through your nose. Please don't take any big or loud breaths, as this will cause your body to overbreathe or hyperventilate, and that negates all of the benefits of this exercise. This breathing exercise is suitable for most people, but please check with your doctor if you're pregnant or if you have any existing health conditions. Okay then, let's get to the breathing exercise. In this first round, we'll focus on breathing slowly and we'll use a metronome to help you keep time. You have a choice of three breathing patterns and it's important to choose the correct breathing rates for your body. You can choose to breathe in and out for four, five or six seconds each way. If you're not sure where to start, then begin with breathing in for five seconds and breathing out for five seconds. Your breathing should be continuous without any pauses or breath holds. So let's start the metronome. And when you're ready, breathing in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. And then just continuing to breathe in your chosen rhythm, using the metronome to help you keep time. If the breathing feels too fast for you, then you can adjust it so that you breathe in for six seconds and out for six seconds. Or if it feels too slow and you're already struggling for air, then you could choose to breathe in and out for four or even three seconds. So just finding the breathing rhythm that feels right for your body. Gently breathing in and out through your nose. Breathing quietly and softly. And then just starting to bring more awareness to the region around and just below the bottom of your rib cage. feeling the movements and sensations of the diaphragm muscle as it breathes for you. If you feel out of touch with your breathing, then you can either rest one hand on your upper belly, or you can bring the palms of your hands to rest on either side of your lower two ribs. And then just letting your shoulders drop down away from your ears. And just tuning in to the feel of your body breathing underneath your hands. And just allowing your belly to relax seeing how that affects your breathing. And 
And as you breathe, just feeling the movements and sensations around the region of the upper belly and the bottom of the rib cage. And you might notice that the breath actually expands in all directions, as if there was a balloon in the middle of the body. It was slowly inflating with each in-breath and deflating with each out-breath. There's no need to push or pull the belly, just breathing gently. And the movements of your breathing should be quite subtle. So no big breaths, no big movements. Just breathing slowly, softly, quietly, at a pace that works for you. And we'll just go for another 30 seconds before we take the first break. Okay then, let's take a break. So just releasing your breathing, letting it return to normal. Opening your eyes, they're closed, and just having a bit of a stretch and a look around the room. So how was that? If you feel calm and clear, then that's a good sign. If you were really struggling for air, then this could be a sign that the breathing rhythm that you chose is too long. So in the next round, it might be worth going for a shorter count for the in-breath and the out-breath. If you felt lightheaded, especially towards the end, then this could be a sign that you are over-breathing, that you are technically hyperventilating. And that means that you're breathing in and out too much air. And this is the most common mistake with this breathing exercise. So don't don't give yourself a hard time about it. And we're going to address this in the next round by intentionally breathing light. So what is breathing light? Well, breathing light means that we breathe about 10% less air than we would normally do so that you feel a mild air hunger. Air hunger means that you feel like you're getting a gentle shortage of air, like you'd like to take a deeper breath, but you don't. It's like that feeling that you get when you're walking up a small hill and you feel a lack of air, but you don't get out of breath. That's how it should feel. And by breathing slightly less air, we avoid the risk of over-breathing and we gain some additional health benefits including boosting oxygen delivery and blood flow to the brain and all of the organs in our body. So let's explore this now in the next round. So let's start the timer again. And just finding a breathing rhythm that feels right for your body. Gently breathing in and out through your nose. Breathing softly and quietly. Feeling the rhythmic movements and sensations of your breathing around the region of the upper belly and the diaphragm. Now, if you're already feeling some air hunger, not feeling like you're not getting quite enough air, but you can still stay calm and relaxed with it, then you don't need to make any further changes. If the air hunger feels very intense, like you feel like you're being suffocated, 
then you can either change to a shorter breathing rhythm, so shortening the count, or you can take slightly bigger breaths, but don't make them too big. So you want the air hunger to feel tolerable, but not stressful. If you don't feel any air hunger yet, then the next step is to start to make the size of your breaths a little bit smaller. So staying with the same count, you reduce the amount of air that you're breathing by about 10%. And one way to do this is to just shift your attention up to the tip of your nose and tune in to the gentle flow of air coming in and out of the nose. So feeling the slightly cooler air as it flows into the nose on the in-breath. And the slightly warmer air as it flows out of the nose. On the out breath. The nose is the most sensitive place in the body to feel the flow of air and just bringing your awareness here can help to soften and lighten the breath. Or alternatively you can just start to bring some relaxation into the body as you breathe. And this will also help to soften the breath. So letting the muscles around the mouth and the jaw relax. And just checking that the lips are still closed. Allowing the shoulders to drop down away from your ears. Letting go of any gripping in your hands. Allowing your belly to relax. In Bateko breathing, we have a saying, belly, soft like jelly. Allowing the buttocks to soften down into the chair. Allowing the whole body to relax. Just breathing so gently that you feel calm, but with a light air hunger. And we we'll just go for another 20 seconds. Okay then, let's take another break before the final session. So you can release the breath, open your eyes, have a bit of a stretch. So how is that round? Did it feel any different? If you get the level of air hunger right, then it will come with a sense of enhanced well-being. Some people report a clarity of mind, or even their vision becomes clearer. For others, they start to feel warm, or even calmer than they did just with the slow breathing alone. You might also notice a buildup of saliva in the mouth. Or perhaps you struggled to find the right level of air hunger. Too little, or too much. Well, don't worry, because this technique takes a little bit of practice. Just be playful, keep experimenting, and you'll make it work. And for the final round, what I'll do is I'll just play the metronome for 10 minutes without any guidance at all, so that you have the opportunity to play around with the breathing exercise and find your own way to breathe slow, light, and low. Also, to help you find the air hunger, there are a lot of other breathing exercises in the channel, so please do subscribe if you'd like more Bateko breathing from me. And also, if you find this track helpful, 
then please give it a thumbs up. Okay then, let's start the timer for the final round and it will just play to the end of the recording without any further guidance. Enjoy. <laughs> 